Good evening and happy Friday, everybody. This is uh, Ebone with Unbound UAV. And uh, so I just wanted to kind of go over something that I've been having with my uh, Tiny Hawk. So, of course, as you do with drones, you tinker with stuff. And uh, I made the mistake of flushing the wrong firmware. Uh, so, and to make it better, I did flash the wrong firmware with a uh, battery plugged in. So something cooked in there and I flashed the wrong firmware. Uh, and I bricked my flight controller. So that was awesome. Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> so now getting to it, how I fixed it. So I unbricked this flight controller uh, with the wrong firmware. Now everybody just says, yeah, go ahead and flash new firmware. But the problem is uh, with the firmware that I flashed, which was the F... Uh, Let's see, that was the F405, I believe, and I believe this is an F11. Yeah, either way, it's flushed properly now, but um, you get no power. So when you plug into USB, and I got the wrong firmware, there's no power, so there was nothing being picked up on the computer, there was nothing going into uh, DFU mode, so um, I was like, great, well, what I got to do? So I tried to kind of figure out how I could... Um, how I could work through that. And the thing was to give the flight controller uh, power over a bypass. And uh, so what I went ahead is because uh, actually through a couple rough crashes, I noticed that um, uh, my, you know, my flight controller stopped getting, uh, stopped getting power. And that was because this diode over here, uh, right up here where I have this larger than necessary wire soldered on. Uh, so this was actually coming loose, and um, after a couple bumps and bruises with the flight controller, that was kind of wiggling off, and I barely caught it. I saw a little little puff of something uh, right in there, like a little, little white spudge around it. And I pushed it down, and I noticed that uh, one, of the, um, one of the solder joints had actually uh, come off, which makes sense with how much you knock these things around. And uh, so I re retouched it and soldered it back up and the flight controller got power again. So uh, that's that's how I ended up fixing it the first time. And the uh, the first time was just from normal flight, beating it up, you know, bashing it around a little bit. Uh, but the next was the firmware issue. So that's why I went ahead and inspected this part first. I knew this caused power issues. Um, so to go ahead and uh, test it, I was... Plugging it into USB, of course, no power, but uh, of course there, uh, yeah, there, there was power. It just wasn't getting to the board. So, uh, af actually, after soldering it to that end, that one, that one pole over there. Sorry, I know my solders are shitty right now, um, and sorry about that, <laughs> that word use. Uh, but uh, either way, I took that and then I went ahead and jumpered it right to the uh, right to the five volt. So right there, and uh, the flight controller powered up. The ESCs were always getting power. So um, so after that, it went ahead and powered up. I saw the flight controller blinking, and uh, all of a sudden, my computer picked it up on uh, DFU mode. So that was fantastic. At that point, I went ahead and flashed the, uh, yeah, flashed the firmware again, and it was all good to go. Uh, now, the problem was, I think it occurred when, uh, when I had flashed it with a battery pack. Uh, attached where now um there uh yeah you know, th there wasn't any uh there wasn't any power getting to the flight controller it was the ESCs and um let's see ah I'm sorry everybody I just kind of mixed up my story a bit uh so actually to get it to reflash and plugging it in I didn't jumper it on the 5 volt. My apologies. Um, I wish I could redo this, but now that'd just be more confusing. Uh, so, to power on the flight controller to reflash with the wrong firmware, uh, let me correct myself. It was actually jumpering from that end of the diode to uh, to over here, to one of these poles, uh, to this pole over on the right on the diode. So, jumping. Those two in front of my nail. I'm hiding the one that you don't uh, don't want to jump. Or you can actually touch it there. Everything will just turn off, uh, but you won't fry anything. So, um, but the uh, the proper one will give it power. So once again, my apologies if you uh, if you 
brick your flight, con uh, flight controller with firmware. You want to jumper these two right here in front of my nail on this diode here. Um, at that point, your flight controller will get firmware while it's plugged into USB and you can flash. So now getting back to how um, I gave the flight controller power when not plugged into USB. So if you are not plugged into USB and you put a battery in, your ESCs get power, but your flight controller does not. Then what you will do is you will take that same jumper from the back of the diode there and jumper it to a 5 volt pad. At that point the flight controller will get power, the ESCs will get power and you can fly again. Um, but of course I'd prefer to fix it the proper way. So I'm still trying to hunt for exactly what the problem is, but if I get itchy and want to fly my uh, my Tiny Hawk, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do until I mess around with it a bit more. Um, that's how you can keep the uh, keep these little guys running. So I know with with drones we like to tinker, we make mistakes, and uh, sometimes you have to pay for those mistakes in cash, which isn't always fun. Um, Let's see, anything else that I learned? I think that's about it for now. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Sorry about the uh, information at the beginning of the video. I had it flipped. I wish I could reshoot it, but I'm just shooting this live because uh, I wanted to get something out. Cool. Well, thank you very much, and I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, what I will be doing is actually the, um, uh, the camera upgrade and a VTX upgrade. So I'm going to go with the TBS VTX. And uh, I already have the uh, the Cadex EOS camera that I'm going to mount in there.